Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Based on accurate visions and prophecies, I would have died since. But prayer, but prayer, but prayer, but prayer. If you are Satan, will you like me? But prayer, but prayer. I hope somebody is getting angry. Don't fold your arms and allow things go wrong. You are seeing the signature of darkness on your children, on your ministry. You have a great ministry, but there is a covering cast that keeps misrepresenting you and you are just folding your arms. You are joking. The day you get angry in your spirit, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Favor would have reached you since January but satan satan got to the ears of your destiny helper before you and said a lot of things that should not be by the time you got there a report had reached their ears i hope you believe what you are hearing let me tell you the truth the bible says right from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom advances forcefully and it is by force by engaging force are we together sir isaac newton postulated a few laws of mechanics and the first of the laws let's refresh our minds again physics that everybody remains in a state of rest or uniform motion except compelled by an external force to act otherwise that's his first law of mechanics in other words if you leave this thing there theoretically after 1000 years it will go like that time does not change anything one day go beta is nonsense the day you get angry and push your destiny forward i told you revivals have no dates the day somebody becomes angry and comes into partnership with heaven that is the day you will see the salvation of the lord But prayer was made by the church unto God for him. When you pray, you exercise your will. You demonstrate your partnership. You say amen to many things. And you say never again to other things. This never again statement happens through the platform of prayer. You'll be learning that tonight. You don't shout and say never again just carelessly it is in the place of prayer never again will all the women be the ones who become men in this family never again will all the successful men keep dying after they graduate never again never again never again never again if i came from a poor family never again poverty would not come out of me no never again Will I be called to serve the purposes of God and your voice is being shot upon the mountains? Never again. That's what happens in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. You are not the only one who comes from a family where nobody has risen. We all came from similar families. Those who force their portion to come to them are the ones who have testimonies today. Those giving excuses do you know that giving excuses is a demonic manipulation itself yes sir it's a strategy to keep you bound because satan knows the day you release your will in prayer my soul why art thou cast down there is always a way why is help far from you there is always a way why is jalingo not opening for your ministry there is always a way 
why do i keep crisscrossing my destiny helpers and they act like they were not commanded look at me look at me when elijah was done with the brook cherries and the lord told him my supplies here is over go to zarifath here's what what god said i have commanded he didn't say i have advised i have commanded by the time elijah met the woman she did not look commanded what are you here to do and the prophet said are you joking i left a strong word i took the risk to trek that long because god told me he commanded you thought the woman would say oh you are the one please come here's your morsel of meat no no you need to know how god speaks god can tell you i have given you jalingo and you step in and it acts like there's no space for you there but prayer prayer begins like a spiritual surveyor system where you start marking out your own space within the territory if god has sent you here there is a portion of relevance for you but you will have to engage in prayer are we together now i'm saying this because we are going to pray oh this morning this is supposed to be a church i don't know what you call it whether it's someone is but assume it's a charge this is a charge my assignment was to come and charge us so that we'll pray never again if i have begged for bread my children will not beg for bread never again if you were born with a particular infirmity it is evil to transfer pain to your children are we together the character of fatherhood according to scripture is not having children is giving good gifts good gifts if ye been evil know how to give good gifts good gifts a cause is not a good gift pain is not a good gift mediocrity is not a good gift transferring battles is not a good gift no there are battles that children have no business fighting except that their parents did not stay to enforce victory they handed it over and you find young people fighting battles they have no business fighting but in this conference god has already spoken to us we are not in doubt is the theme of this conference is a verdict never again is your assignment to take it to the place of prayer and begin to walk that prophecy never again never again there is a covenant that makes the forces the elemental forces of creation to not fight me why is the weather fighting me why is the earth fighting me why will i eat from the earth and be sick from it there is a verdict i have a league with the stones they are not supposed to fight me the sun should not smite me by day the moon should not smite me by night no enchantment should happen with the waters and the elements of creation against me there is a covenant of peace with the elements of creation listen the supernatural cannot manifest on earth until it partners with the elements of creation every manifestation of the supernatural depends on its partnership with the elements of creation light fire water sound the earth there is no manifestation of the supernatural that happens upon the earth outside of his partnership with these elements and these are the same elements that have been manipulated in the place of witchcraft to fight men so the psalmist said the sun shall not smite you nor the moon by night because wizardry consults these powers and uses them to manipulate people go and read the book of esther and see how the date was selected for the annihilation of the jews they did not choose the date by intelligence they conjured the powers cosmic powers and arrived at that date satan is still using that strategy till today he knows the advantage of the elements of creation when people conjure water conjure land earth and all kinds of things there is a covenant that i have with the elements of creation they should not fight me if you call my name on water or whatever it is if i have understanding and i know how to enforce it you only wasted your time but that demonic thing is as 
powerful as my prayerlessness don't just say nothing will harm, harm me no it starts with a consciousness but you must engage in the place of prayer are we together never again i came to annoy somebody this morning a holy anger never again will my child serve the devil never again will i be in debt to the point that they will come to take my two children my husband may be gone but there is a way out of it never again will i be at the edge of compromise because ministry is not working never again will my voice be silenced not when he's placed oil upon my head never again will i lack the help of men there are too many people in jalingo to partner with prophecy over my life too many people is someone learning now too many people listen to me ladies and gentlemen whatever has destroyed your prayer life god brought you here this morning to fan back the ambers of genuine prayer some of you pray but you pray amiss your prayer is rather copying prayerful people so that you don't feel guilty you will still be defeated that mentality has defeated you already we pray because god gave man a will and it is in the place of prayer you have a chance to exercise that will the earth had he given to the sons of men if he says thy kingdom come everything that represents the influence of heaven god wants to see it in the life of this man it's true it's a secret i have found and it's changed my life hmm. show me a man that knows how to pray with understanding change every full stop in front of that man's destiny to a comma because you're about to see a story continue show me a man that knows how to pray whatever you have concluded over that man you will soon bury your head in shame turn the full stop to a comma because the story does not finish show me a defeated family but that they hold hand together and begin to pray with understanding fervent effectual prayer heartfelt word compliant prayer i show you victory that is imagined i show you victory that is imagined some of you here by your divine ordination you should have entered certain offices by now but your prayerlessness is still making you drag yourself like somebody who was barely saved january and yet you've been saved for the past 10 years there are certain things that should have been activated within your spirit man now by now that graduation should have happened from a believer to a witness but you are still scrounging around fighting the things that you are supposed to be delivering others from Some of you have been called to be kingdom financiers but you do not know that kingdom wealth is warfare it's not just about intelligence buying and selling a time comes when you don't buy and sell products you buy and sell covenants you transact covenants there is a level of wealth that has nothing to do with products and services no hmm. you get to a point where it is your covenant allegiance that delivers to you certain possibilities go and ask the devil you can start as a businessman but you get to a level where it is not business you discuss again what shall it profit a man did you hear the word profit there now and there are no products mentioned there is gaining there is losing there is profit there are souls gaining losing profits souls no products there is a level of wealth that does not happen by transacting things you transact allegiance you transact covenants is someone learning why are we here this morning jalingo we're here this morning because there are things we need to shift it is finished in christ already it has been revealed through the word so we are not in confusion as to the will of God so here's how it works finished in Christ revealed through the word but it must be enforced through prayer finished in Christ his will 
revealed through the word but it is enforced in the place of prayer your victory finished in christ your victory revealed through the word but the manifestation of it is enforced in the place of prayer i remember years ago i saw i was praying and i saw one of my parents i was watching the obituary like i'm watching you watching a lifeless body in a coffin with everything and they were conducting the funeral and this had not happened physically when i saw it i knew what that meant and i knew how to change it but prayer but prayer if you think you are powerless explore prayer with understanding and you will see the kind of power god gave a believer if you pray and you pray and miss you will be pained on two grounds one because of the kind of energy you are dissipating your results will not justify it you will be offended you will be angry but when you understand that god gave you a will and that will is engaged in the place of prayer that the real way to say amen is not to say it is to engage it in the place of prayer hallelujah apostle why is it that others are rising while others are not rising the same salvation purchased victory for everyone but to the one he's enforcing that victory to the other he's still giving excuses or wallowing in ignorance do you know the value of knowledge is that you use it in the place of prayer if you cannot use knowledge in the place of prayer and obedience to enforce the victory that is in Christ your Christian experience will be full of things you know but no testimonies following you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're the lifter up of my head the lifter up of my head you're the lifter up of my head the lifter up of my head you're the lifter up of my head you're the lifter up of my life the lifter up of my life when you see others rise in this kingdom let me say that again before we begin to pray whether it is in ministry whether it is in business whether it's with their families it is not because they did not have the causes you are fighting you are joking it is not because satan is out to destroy everything god his attack is not unique to you he is determined to destroy everyone who can be a potential battle axe. The attack is not unique to you. No. But I can tell you one thing. When you learn how to hold on to the horns of the altar. In that place, you program your realities. In that place, you program your destiny. I'm not telling you something that I don't do. This is the real secret to manifesting the power of God. You are a man of God. Where will your helpers come from? You are a man of God. Where will all the helpers come from? Do you know them? Don't try to look for them. Pray them to your life. Prayer turns you into a magnet you draw things that are consistent with the will of God in the place of prayer you become like a magnet there are helpers in Yola but where are they I do not know where they are so you go to the central command room and in that place of prayer you are exerting an energy in prayer that begins to gravitate everything needed for your destiny consistent with the will of God in the place of prayer the keyboardist will suddenly show up 
the young man who will later become your pastor will suddenly show up they may not show up refined but they come the same energy that brought them is the same energy that will transform them when you begin to pray many things happen at midnight Paul and Silas Peter was lucky they had the church to pray while he was sleeping you see the problem with Peter is even though he was an apostle of the Lord he was in danger but the Bible said Peter was sleeping make sure if you are sleeping there are people awake praying for you because if nobody is awake and you are sleeping well if you are Jesus fine and good if you are not that boat is going to capsize soon the Bible says Peter was sleeping but the church said no let him sleep we will wake up but in the case of Paul and Silas nobody was praying for him so the Bible says at midnight Paul and Silas said listen if we decide to sleep like Peter we would die for nothing same prison the Bible says they got up they prayed is that in your Bible <laughs> and they sang loud enough and the jailers heard them this time around because they added worship to it there is a dynamics it was not angels that came it was God himself that came because the Bible says I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise by that formula shall I be saved from my enemies they prayed but then they sang and God who inhabits the praises of his people came the Bible says when he showed up there was an earthquake in the prison for Peter the doors were opened carefully but this one there was an earthquake it rattled the foundation of the prison and the Bible says immediately all doors open immediately how many doors financial doors doors of health doors of influence doors of ministry when God came immediately not gradually not step by step not one door per year immediately all doors open someone prophesy all doors open all doors all doors all doors doors to the education of your children doors to your relevance within the land doors to your ministry doors to be structurally established within Jalingo within the Northeast within your station doors of business when he came in response to prayer when he came in response to worship there was an earthquake all doors open hallelujah listen please listen there are three ways to open doors according to scripture the first way we open doors is through the use of the correct keys when you use a correct key not a key a correct key a door is opened the second way we open doors is by knocking through relationships when you knock that door the person at the other end must like you enough to open that door remember the man who was begging bread for his friends in the night he came and knocked the door and said friend there are other friends who have come because you are my friend stand up and open the door for me if you don't understand relationships there are doors that will never open because there is a way we open doors by knocking unfortunately when you knock the doors is because you don't have the key the person who has access to the door must like you enough this is where favor comes in but the third way we open doors when there are no keys and there are no friends the third way doors are opened is by rattling the foundations by force now the advantage of breaking those doors is that if you use a correct key and the person coming after you does not have the key the door will still be closed like your children if you knock and the relationship opens for you and does not open for your spouse they will remain outside but when God comes he shakes the foundation the door is only there because it's connected to a foundation when he pushes that foundation both you and your children and everybody who comes after you 
listen to me when paul and silas were praying other prisoners were not praying but when the doors opened every prisoner went every every they leveraged on the prayer advantage so the benefits of prayer go beyond you you are the one who does the engaging in the place of prayer but your children will eat from it your members will reap from it your family members nuclear and extended will reap from it he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint let's do some prayer Our time is up even if it's just for five minutes is that all right i'd like you to invest the time that we have no roaming around no looking around no gisting if you are being distracted it's a demon spirit focus your attention on jesus christ go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit oh, 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 oh. Go ahead. Shapra katapalete parantas katapragata. Shaka parakata pratakata palakata pakatos. Let a prenta kataparekata patos kate. Shate leke parentas kaprakate pas. Lekata pekata paranto soto prakata pelekata. Rakata prenta kapata kata pelekata pos. Shate saparentos koto pentekate. Ebrakata patakata lekate. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. A few minutes. You are saying never again and you are saying amen never again to sickness never again to infirmity never again to defeat never again to limitations never again to delay and stagnation never again to limitations you're a man of god in ministry pray pray the next dimension of your ministry pray the next dimension of your relevance word of the forces the arsenals of darkness that sit upon cities sit upon territories and nations a few minutes you are praying a few minutes you are praying Shapa nekapeles, rakate proskate lekate panda kapriakata. Pray yourself into a more superior version. Pray yourself from a weak to a stronger version. Pray yourself from a canal to a spiritual version. Pray yourself from a limited to an unlimited version. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. We are still going to pray. I like you to engage with understanding. You are going to challenge every other voice. Every other covenant. Every other ordinance that has found its way to your life. That is inconsistent with the verdict of heaven manipulations of darkness someone lift up your voice and pray lift up your voice and pray every hiding must come down 
every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown go ahead and pray yokes of limitations over chalingo over taraba state yokes of limitation in ministry limitations in business i come against you in the name of the lord jesus the spirits of captivity keeping god's people bound keeping ministries bound someone pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. I'm giving you two more prayer points. Please look at me. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Bible says, Jesus told the disciples, it says, let us go to the other side. Our influence should not be limited here. Let us go to the other side. Increase, expansion. And as soon as they got into the boat, the Bible says there arose a storm of wind. Many attacks in your life is because of the prophecy for increase. The prophecy for expansion that a higher level of grace had left heaven and yet is still not landed upon your life because somewhere in that journey there has arisen a storm of wind but we are going to do what Jesus did the Bible says he rebuked the wind and he said peace be still is someone ready to pray say father shout it again say father in the name of Jesus I decree I declare that every challenge every attack over my life over my ordination over my destiny be destroyed now go ahead and pray be destroyed every attack is going to be a prayer for advancement let me tell you the truth everything that is alive grows growth is a fundamental characteristic of living things to grow means to increase in size it also means to increase in influence to increase in relevance if you truly love god and love his program you must love advancement because there are certain levels of influence that cannot afford you the opportunity to do much for the kingdom there are music ministers that need to grow there are apostles that need to grow there are prophets that need to grow the kind of oil you are carrying on your head you can't be trusted with the nations no there needs to be an expansion of that capacity their glory is in weights and there are certain weights of glory if you do not carry you cannot be trusted with certain assignments someone is ready to go forward you are going to pray is an aggressive prayer commanding advancement now listen acts chapter 12 the bible says there were three gates that were opened this is the last prayer point the first gate opened peter was out of the prison but he was not out of the prison area the second gate opened then the bible says when they got to the iron gate there is a gate called the iron gate that leads to the city is that in your bible not every gate there are gates that bring you out of prison but there are gates that lead to the city that is the gate that comes that controls territorial influence if that gate is not open 
no matter how anointed you are the nations cannot hear you the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder someone is about to open this gate in the place of prayer for the next two minutes i want you to engage the gate that controls influence you must swing hither and thither it's time for the revelation of the glory of god upon my life and upon my destiny someone shout and say father i decree and declare that every gate of limitation over my life over my kingdom service let that gate be open now prophesy a father be open a father be open go ahead and pray be open a father be open a father be open a father be open gates open open for greater kingdom exploits open for access to greater resources open for more strategic relationships open for higher levels of light open for greater stature in the spirit open a fata be open a fata be open tita and hita be open let the king of glory come in be open let the saints in light come in be open let the work of the kingdom find visibility be open help the lady under the anointing so she doesn't injure herself in jesus name in jesus name in the name of jesus we have to wrap up the service just help those under the anointing if you forgot everything i taught you this morning do not forget that we are co-laborers with god when verdicts come as a decree as captured by the finished work of christ through the ministry of the word and the intelligence of the spirit that will is revealed to the saints but when the saints have a capture of the revealed will of god their next assignment is the partnership that brings enforcement and one of such as you have learned this morning is the partnership of prayer heartfelt prayer fervent prayer word compliant prayer every dead prayer life in this place every dead passion for prayer every attack on your prayer life this morning in the name of jesus i declare by the privilege of god's mercy i lift up this candle with fire upon it and by mercy let your candle be lit again let it be lit with fire let your prayer altar be lit with fire let your prayer altar be lit with fire I forbid you from praying amiss you will not waste your time in the place of prayer your prayer will be fervent your prayer will be effectual your prayer will be result producing in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please allow me for a moment before I step down for tonight um, I want to plead using standing on uh, the grace upon his lordship at the permission of the bishop i want to make two requests number one i've told you to invite other people but number two like we always do let me request that you come tonight with your prayer request will that be fine sir your prayer request <laughs> hallelujah so use this morning you have 
ample time up until evening whether you are at your office whether you are back home whether you are just locking up yourself somewhere if you don't have anything to do this conference is not the time to roam around and visit friends you can visit them next week if i were you and i don't have anything to do you go back and smuggle yourself somewhere and flog it out with destiny while preparing your spirit for the evening spiritualize your mentality don't allow the devil cheat you and rob you because when the god sows the word satan comes and sows tears too so you guard your heart with all diligence are we together now invite your loved ones invite co-laborers in the gospel invite everyone that you can find and that includes those who are falling online i understand it's been broadcast on acnn and a number of social media platforms make sure you connect by evening five it starts five on the dot you connect with your faith and let's trust god to do great things in our lives tonight so please do come with your requests even for your loved ones who are beyond this place they can connect online and then they can send their request to you and you can write it let's agree and release our faith that certain things that never again verdict let's agree with god that at it, as it has come by god through his servant let it be so in our lives you believe that shout amen, amen. may god bless you and good morning to you once again Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for.